I'm Charles Martinet, and now it's time for Bit Trip Presents Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Hey guys, it's Omrecker, and uh, this game has already been introduced to you. I'm checking out Bit Trip Runner 2, the future legend of Rhythm Alien. And this is a game that I'm really enjoying. I've played it a little bit already. I've gotten through the entire first level. And I th what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll just show you the, one well, of the first levels so you can see how it starts off kind of basic. And then it gets more and more complex as you go along. So uh, this is the first world here, the Welkin Wonderland. The Welkin Wonderland. And uh, you can unlock a number of characters. You can change the difficulty level from uh, easy to just right to hard. I completed all these levels on uh, just right, except for this one here. This is one I tried on hard. Uh, but since I've beaten all these, why don't we go ahead and do a, uh, a hard run? Let's see. We'll do it on the uh, Wifferdill. Actually, before I jump in, let's look at the character screen. I've unlocked one character so far. And that is Uncle Dill. He's a uh, pickle, which is pretty cool. They've got Commander Video. He is the main character in the first Bit Trip Runner. And you can unlock these costumes too as you go along. Um, there is Commander Girl Video. And she also has her own costumes that you can unlock. Uh, so then there's Uncle Dill. I had introduced him. Now I don't know what these others are. Although this one looks to be the classic Bit Trip Runner. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and confirm on Uncle Dill here and then we're gonna get started on rather hard and you'll see how in the early game there's really not too much to do besides jump maybe slide I'm trying to remember when they introduced the slide but it's a free-running game where the game actually runs for you you just need to avoid obstacles okay so this is a glide tutorial so I am playing on the hard difficulty right now And you can see it's, you know, it's not, not too hard right now. But wait till you see the later levels. Alright. And uh, you can find a checkpoint right here, but I jumped over it for extra points. Oh, shit! I can't believe I just died on a freaking early level. And since I jumped over the checkpoint, that means I got to start all the way at the beginning. Ultimate fail. You know what? I'm not trying to get a super high score. I'll just get the checkpoint next time. It is interesting, though, how on the harder difficulty, they did definitely make this harder. It's not, uh... I mean, they're not messing around when it comes to setting the difficulty. Alright, so we're going to run through the checkpoint. Okay, see, that's where I got screwed up last time. Good thing I hit that checkpoint. So I think I need to do a quick jump. Yep. I was trying to do a long jump to get over him. Okay, we should be done pretty soon. Oh! Damn it! <laughs> I'm not good at those uh, areas where I, I need to jump twice. It's not something this game normally throws at you in the later levels, so it must be- Oh my god, are you kidding me? I'll tell you man, when when you guys do- Oh, when you guys do a commentary if you ever try this, I swear it taps brain power from you. Stuff that you'd normally do well at, all of a sudden you start failing because you're like thinking about what you need to talk about when you're playing a game and... Definitely screws you up! Okay. Please, beat it! Oh, I missed one. That's alright. You don't need to get every gold, but it helps with your score when you do. Okay, we've got to be done soon. Yep, finish line. Okay, so that was a early level. That was actually the second one, I think, once you get moving. And it gives you a breakdown of your score. You can actually see a micro leaderboard. And it says right now I am tied with second at 860. Oh, you know what? Look at that. Antlerlicious. So the first three places were all tied. All of us. That's kind of interesting. And so there, we're done with uh, this one on the pretty hard difficulty. 
And uh, let's go into another level here. Let's say uh, we'll do this one. We'll we'll do it on just right, just so I'm not failing every thirty seconds. All right. So this is one that I did not complete with all these the stuff. All right. So this is going to introduce lighting and kicking. I really like how the music evolves as you play. But you can see how the game ramps stuff up on you. I mean, you have to start dealing with more and more as you play, and eventually it even starts like shooting stuff at you. You gotta deflect objects. You gotta run around in a circle here by... Uh, well, and if you're playing with the keyboard, you're tapping the spacebar. Ooh. Alright, I'm gonna take the safe route. I think I already did the difficult one on this. Could be wrong. Oh, man, no! Oh, shit. God. Alright, we only need ten more gold, that means we're almost done. All I gotta do is not fail. Yep! And now I get to show you what happens if you get all the gold. You actually get thrown into a cannon here. And then with the cannon, you gotta hit this target. Now the target shifts about every time this comes up. Oh, I got a bullseye! Awesome! But I also hit the uh, checkpoint, which means I don't get that extra 50,000 for jumping over it. So let's see where I am on the scoreboard. Third place. If I had jumped over the damn checkpoint, I would have had first place, guys. But I'm a little under a thousand short because I did choose to go over. Alright, so there's also uh, boss fights in this, and I'll, actually I should point out one other thing. Uh, you'll notice here that there's like a little side um, point. There are alternative exits, so like on this level uh, that I was just playing, um, if you go to a more difficult route, it'll usually take you to an alternate exit and that will open up another point, like a secret point that you don't normally see. And this one had one too, which led me here. But uh, here's a boss fight, I'll show you what this was like. And uh, just before you watch, uh, this is going to be a minor spoiler. This is the first boss. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll let him kill me. I'll just show you the first part of the fight. Because I don't want to ruin this for you. We'll avoid spoilers. So he is firing at you from behind. This is something that you normally don't have to deal with when you're playing the main game. Tricky, tricky. And then, gotta use that leap. Alright, so now I'm gonna let him kill me. Actually, you know what, let's just quit. Because again, I don't want to ruin that boss fight for you guys. It's it's pretty cool. Um, and then, once you beat this area, you go to uh, the next act, and I'll go in and check that out really quick too. It's called the Emerald Grind. The now, Emerald I haven't played Grind. this at all. I wanted to save this for the video. And this is what it's like when you get to a new area. You can't go anywhere. You've got to start at the first level. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And let's see what it throws at me. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Once again in a fishy predicament, our daring friend cools it off and waits for this cetaceous old saw to sing. Into the Emerald Brine. Nice. Okay. So I see, oh, Northern Lion is first. Let's see if I can beat a score. Dance? What is dancing about? I have not seen dancing before. Oh, oh man, I'm, I just missed two in a row. What is wrong with me? All right. Well, again, I'm seeing this for the first time, guys. And I'm also trying to do some commentary. I'm gonna blame that on my failure. Gonna use this jump. And let's get those two that we missed last time. How am I, how am I supposed to get that one? 
Now I am using the keyboard. The game highly recommends that you don't use a keyboard. I must just be hitting my jump button for too long. Go ahead and try this one more time. Otherwise, if I fail at this one more time, I'm just gonna skip trying to get those. Okay, we gotta do a really quick tap. Okay. Oh. Oh no! What? What is that? Oh, that's a check. Ah, I missed one because I was so confused about what was happening in the scene. And this is one of those games, you know, it's kind of like Rock Band, where all this motion kind of trips out your eyes a little bit. Okay hey guys, we're doing pretty well. I'm gonna take the safe route because I haven't seen this level before. I see that there's a lock up there. Oh, shit! Man, okay, so I made it. But, that was not a perfect run. Oh. This game could be pretty damn intense. Now, I highly doubt that I broke Northern Lion's record. Nope, I didn't even come close. He's obviously the master at this game. All right, so we will try one more here. And see if it introduces something new. Um, and man, there's that dancing. What is the dancing about? It's just extra points? Wait, how did, how did, how do I dance again? See, I already forgot. I was so like, occupied. Oh, I missed one again. How to fail by Ohm Wrecker. Alright. Kung Fu Kick. Oh, I missed that one too. Alright, I'm gonna jump over this. I want the extra points. Man! Woo! Alright, we are going to safe route. And, like I said, there are all the- er, there's these alternate routes that you can use to uh, get more stuff. Or other exits, rather. Damn, this game. This is not an easy game, guys. Look at that jump! Holy shit! We made it! Alright, um... I do think I should wrap it up there, though, because I don't want to show too much. This is really just my quick look. Let's see what I got, though, for score. Damn you, lion! He beat me. I will get him. Don't you worry. All right. Uh, so, guys, again, this is Bit Trip presents Runner Two, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. It's out now on Steam, and as far as I know, it's also coming to Xbox Live Arcade, the PlayStation Network, and uh, Wii U. But obviously, I like to play my games on Steam. And it is really fun. I like this game a lot. Um, you know, I, I played the original and I, I thought it was pretty decent back then, but I didn't and I don't recall ever beating it. I remember playing like uh, through a bit of it for the uh, Portal 2 alternate reality game or the ARG. And aside from that, though, I never went back to it. But this game I really like. Like I, I'm almost positive I'm gonna play this thing all the way through and beat it. Um, so if you guys want to see more of it, if you want to see me as I play through, let me know, um, and I can try to make some more videos on this. Otherwise, uh, you know, definitely check this game out, guys. I really like it. It's got a great soundtrack, really good gameplay, um, great puzzles. I mean, it, you know, it's very unique, and it's definitely a huge step up from the previous uh, runner game. So uh, that's it, guys. So as always, please be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about my channel, I always appreciate when you guys do that, and stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you guys next time.